we're trying to raise a whole person here who can take responsibility for themselves. So right. it's a big leap from fifth grade to sixth grade. Some of those extracurricular activities, the teachers are really owning and trying to bring it to Burnett to give this whole well-rounded experience. I've actually had students say, can I fix this grade? Can I look at this and do better so that I can get a higher score? Okay, so first off, I divide it by eight, so I would get... What I do find is that when students get a score on their, uh, when they are assessed on their work, and they look at the rubric and they understand what those numbers mean, they go, oh. I feel like it just allows me to see things differently. Like, it's IB taught me to, to look at things from different perspectives. I think it's just the way that they grade you on it that makes you think differently about it. When they have that rubric compared to before, they're more reflective on their learning. And when they're reflective on their learning, I see better work coming in. San Jose Unified had a long-term vision and they articulated it well and then they told you about every single school. I mean, this is our home, home school, is that what yeah. they call it? Yeah. Neighborhood school. Yeah. So um, I didn't want to do the distance all the way to Hoover. So it was pretty much between Burnett and Hoover because that would be a lot further for us. And what is amazing about this district and to some degree, it's the benefit of working with low-income students is we can apply for and get a lot of grants. And so the equipment we have here, when I talk to people in a higher income maybe, you know, area, they're shocked at what we have. I don't know what to tell them. It's just if they're convinced to go to whichever school they want to, that's right. fine. But I just, I don't really, I don't care for it when they tell me, oh, you know, I heard that's not a good school. Um, so that's, that's, that's the bad part.